Denver beat Kansas City. It's okay. You can say it's all because Patrick Mahomes was sick. If you want to use that as an excuse, and it, none of us are 100% when we're sick. But it wasn't just that. If you look at the numbers, believe it or not, of Russell Wilson against Mahomes this season, Wilson's got better numbers. Completion percentage, a little lower. Passer rating, higher. TD interceptions, better. That's, that's what's really happened in the NFL so far. Kansas City's wide receivers, most drops in the NFL. Red zone offense, Kansas City is 18th. They're not very good offensively. Sky Moore dropped a touchdown pass yesterday. This season for Mahomes is starting to look like some of the years in New England for Brady where he had a great tight end like Gronk and then cross your fingers. The difference is Brady would have a clever slot guy, a Wes Welker or a Julian Edelman, veteran receivers who knew how to beat his zone. This Kansas City group is kids. They can't catch. They drop a lot of passes. And Brady got frustrated visibly. And yesterday, Mahomes, and this happens about once a year, got really frustrated. You just look at the AFC. Forget the NFC. Baltimore's got better weapons. Chargers have better weapons. Jags have better weapons. Cincinnati's got better weapons. Miami's got better weapons. They maybe, they maybe have a BB gun offense. Pittsburgh's got better weapons. They're, they don't stack up in the AFC outside of Travis Kelsey, and there's a lot of miles on Travis Kelsey's legs. So you, they solved the Tyreek Hill trade last year with Juju Smith-Schuster, who had a touchdown yesterday. And they actually miss Juju Smith-Schuster. They miss him. He's a veteran. Gets open against the zone. Productive in big spots. But outside of a great half against the Chargers, this is what Kansas City's offense is. When Denver led 21-9, to it didn't feel the same. It didn't feel like you would looking at an offense that would reel off three touchdowns in six minutes. That was a couple of years ago against Buffalo. That was three or four years ago. This is a weak wide receiving group. There is no number one receiver. There's no number two receiver. Sky Moore could become a two. He's not a one. And Travis Kelsey, again, there's an age factor. You saw it with Gronk. Tight ends can age fast. You ask them to block, they get hit down low, they get beat up. So I, when Denver was ahead, I didn't feel it felt like normal Kansas City football. If Travis Kelsey does not get in the end zone, they struggle to get in the end zone. They are 18th in red zone offense. So I think Kansas City over time is a better team. But what Denver did, and we'll talk more about Denver later, they tweaked it. They've now got a running game. They took Mahomes out of rhythm. Mahomes on the bench grumbling. Wide receivers getting cold. It was cold to begin with. So I, I, I don't think this was just Patrick Mahomes was, was sick. He obviously wasn't 100%, but he was good enough to make plenty of throws that were dropped by his receivers. That throw to Skyboard was great. It was dropped. Couldn't be that sick. Yeah, I mean, last week, Nick Wright gave me crud because I had him at two. The truth is... This week, I don't have them in the top four. It's not a knock. But what you're seeing with them isn't about the flu. What you're seeing about them is a reality of their personnel is that they would have been much more punitively damaged last year on the Tyreek Hill move if not for Juju Smith-Schuster, a veteran guy who can get open. They're just waiting for these young kids to get more reliable. They did make a move pre-trade -trade deadline. I don't think they'll make another one. I think Kansas City off a of Super Bowl feels like we don't have salary cap space. Can these guys get better and better quickly? And I think that's very, very possible with a great quarterback, smart coach. But, but right now, this is not a great offense. They had a great half against the Chargers. Shocker, the Chargers. <laughs> the Bears went down the field, beat them on the first play of the game last night. Shocker. But it's not a great offense for the first time in Mahomes' career. The smaller the market, Buffalo, Jacksonville, uh, the media tends to be more of an ally or friendly, but they can still be critical. In Green Bay, it's different. Green Bay covers the Packers like the fans are the parents and the players are their kids. I mean, they just can't see straight. Uh, Jordan Love's not it. Like, not close. It doesn't work. Um, nobody wants to pick on him. No reason to be mean-spirited. He's a backup. Uh, maybe something happens, maybe something changes, but when you start blaming the refs and dropped passes and play calling, you don't have the guy. As if Joe Burrow gets a perfect scheme and play sheet every week. Uh, so when I watch Green Bay in this Jordan Love situation, it's like 
It's a really small market. They've had great quarterback play for about 30 straight years. There was no way they were going to go Favre Rogers legend. But, I mean, they've gone five straight games without a touchdown in the first half. You going to blame drop passes? You going to blame the refs? O-line play? Stop it. He's not accurate at all. Downfield. And, on, and I mean, that, like, that stuff out in the flat. That that's ba- that's layup stuff. You can't make those throws in the red zone. These are layups. I'm not asking him to be Mahomes downfield or Josh Allen. He throws it into double coverage. He's not accurate. He ma- this is just a bad bad throw to Christian Watson. They, how do you miss badly on this? Is a layup in the flat. And again, he's got an offensive coach. He's got really good running back, tight end, wide receiver weapons. But Green Bay, the way they feel about their team these these are our kids so they're hyper protective but i will tell you this i would rather be green bay than pittsburgh even though pittsburgh's much better now because kenny pickett's not it either he's better than jordan love but he's from pittsburgh he played at the university of pittsburgh they're not drafting a quarterback for years they're going to convince themselves Hey, you bet. He'll beat Burrow and Mahomes and Lamar and Trevor Lawrence. You watched the field yesterday. You watched Kenny Pickett against Trevor Lawrence, and it was perfect Pittsburgh weather. It was a warm-weather Florida team going into the muck and mire. They still dominated. Green Bay has no emotional connection to Jordan Love. He's a Utah State kid. They're not paying him big money. They're going to move off him quickly. Will they be intellectually honest enough? Now, they drafted a quarterback last year. Will they draft one this year early? They need to. I think it was totally unrealistic to think you were going to go Favre Rogers legend. That doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, most people can't name the shortstop after Jeter in New York. It's just like you just don't. It doesn't work that way. And so when you went from Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck and Favre to Rogers, that's insane. That never happens in pro sports ever. So I, I mean, you can do it in the NBA if you want to go buy a LeBron or you want you want to go buy a free agent. But um, it doesn't work. But I think Green Bay's in a good spot. It clearly doesn't work. And they have no real connection other than the time they've spent with him this year making him the guy. Whereas in Pittsburgh, they're going to convince themselves they got the guy. And Kenny is better and can make some big throws. He can. He's a better player. But I don't think in the AFC you're going to win big-time playoff games with that in January and February. So I look at Green Bay and I think it doesn't look good. Just be honest about it. When guys are missing layups, missing people badly, can't score five straight weeks of touchdown. It's not the guy. Now, didn't pay him much. You're not trapped. You don't have any holes in your team. You got to find your next great left tackle. But everybody in the league's looking for that. Even San Francisco has one. They'll probably draft one. Everybody's looking for a great left tackle. You got receivers, tight ends, backs. You have a great corner. You got good guys in the box. Green Bay's in a good space. But because it's a small town, they're just going to convince themselves stop. Nobody's buying it. Privately, Green Bay knows the truth. There's no reason to say everything publicly. There's no, I don't ask my wife everything she thinks about me. I don't want to know it. My kids, keep it to yourself. I don't need all the answers publicly. I don't care what you had for lunch. You don't need to put it on Twitter. I don't care. You don't need to say it publicly, but everybody in the room kind of knows. This, this isn't, didn't take long to figure out Burrow, Mahomes, Lawrence, Herbert. Doesn't take long to see it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.